Okay, I think it should be working now. Um, welcome to this year's New Year's special, in which we actually finally opened the card packs. So, um, yeah, I recently started streaming again to raise money for my local children's hospital, and well, when you're a small streamer, it's definitely very hard. But um, you know, still doing the best I can. Um, so today we're finally going to have our New Year's special in which we open our card packs, the literal 2020 card pack opening in 2020, uh, opening the card packs that I've acquired over, you know, however <laughs> long I've been playing. Uh, sometimes I do uh, take breaks from seasons, I play less in these areas, as you can see I have less card packs. It's like, I'm mostly free to play, but uh, every now and then I did, uh, you know. Okay, that's really not good me. Well, it's supporting the game that I like, and uh, I did have money to spend during this time, so I did buy the uh, bundle sometimes. <laughs> if there was a good deal, I did pick it up. Anyway. Uh, here we go. Which one shall we start with? Let's start with... This guy. The Laren Paladin Collector. Okay, that's pretty cool. And it looks like it's garbage. Ho ho! Okay, sure. Let's open an Ongoro. I think that's what it is. I didn't notice what the ward was. Ooh, an epic. Okay. I don't even remember what these expansions are called. That's not good. This is the one where they had like the desert adventures, like Reno, I think. Yeah, I did have to like take breaks sometimes because of health issues and actual work. Um, yes, the Galakron ones. Whoa! Shenvala. That's a pretty good pack. Man Giant's actually really good. Uh, but I am mostly an arena player, so this is mostly free to play. Okie dokie. Oh, what's that? Lag? No. But the good news about being like a small streamer is I can pay more attention to chat. Uh, I'm going to go back over here to check for a sec. Okie dokie. Oh god. <laughs> I'm getting lost playing my own mouse clicks because it looks confusing sometimes. Alright. Uh, where were we at? Okay, that's fine. Please, something cool. Okay, but as to how I'm gonna do this, um... It's not a hundred percent certain right now. Like I may have to just break up into sessions because opening actually like two thousand hold card packs in one session is very, very tedious. Of course we're gonna hit um it's like eleven twenty one right now, so this will technically go into the next year. Uh maybe Maybe we'll just open until we only have 2020 card packs left for this session. And then in the following session. Okay, this card used to be really good. But then they increased the mana cost. It's like, oh, it's no longer an odd paladin. Haha. <laughs> I don't want to open this. That's a bad, dirty joke. Don't follow Dave in uh, some of those regards. I guess we'll save that one for last. 
I don't know. Because 2020 was such a bad year for everyone, maybe instead we will change it to a 2021 card pack opening. This part we just open until we have 2020 card packs left. And then next year, or is this a special, we'll do the actual literal, literal card pack opening of the 2021 card pack opening in 2021. All right, you see this? Sparkles? That means we're gonna get like five legendaries. I guess my alignment was off. The magic did not work. Hmm. I sense nothing apparently. <laughs> oh, no, 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 we gotta go now. Oh. Okay, I like Fallen Hero. This guy, not so much. Goblins and gnomes. Oh, GBG Warrior Collector. I like the uh, that update where you get these achievements. Almost makes me want to go back on a legend climb because I'm pretty sure I don't have the achievement unlocked. Alright, which cards are open? Let's go with like the newer editions because the newer cards are generally better. Because, well, Blizzard wants you to buy more card packs. That will make them very happy. Mm -hmm. Garbo. I sense magic. Okay. Guess I should get the senses checked. Yeah, during this year I think we will continue um you know the games heal children series in which we try to raise money for our local children's hospital. Skull, man, it's neutral collector. <gasps> Ace Hunter Cream, that's really good. Nice. You know, I was about to say I feel the magic coming up, but then again, I'm saying that for like every <laughs> opening I'm doing. I feel the magic coming up. But yeah, that's that's not gonna work. Uh, one time it did though, like when I was playing in real life, like, just on my phone I spinning a card pack around. I was like, hey man, check this out. And then I opened actually like a double legendary pack, like Golden Epic, Archmage, uh, Antonidas. It was one of the greatest things ever. That is never gonna happen again, and obviously I wasn't recording. Unless... Double legendary? Yeah, that's definitely not going to happen again, is it? Perfect attendance. Oh. Something, something, golden legendary. No. See it. Yeah, who knows. Um, New Year's is coming up real soon. Finally out. The crazy year that was 2020. Dark Moon Paladin Collector. These cards are just so strong as compared to the ones uh, from back in my day. Fire four missiles. It's <laughs> very cool. <laughs> Wait, was that? I don't think it's a tank. I think it's a tonk. That's funny. 
One demon hunter collect. Mm, no. Okay. That must be legendaries. No. <laughs> Fully drinker. That's unhealthy. You shouldn't be drinking, man. Especially when you're like in the void. That could get very dangerous. Also now wondering if like they confirmed the whole legendary thing. Cause I heard like if you open twenty card packs without legendary, like the game automatically guarantees you um a legendary card. But I think that's just like a rumor. I don't think Blizzard like confirmed it. Oh, more get more glaives. <laughs> of Azanoff. Oh yeah, this card used to be... Yeah, it was also like five... It was also five drop. Rip, nerf. They don't like the odd numbers. Secret Passage. That card's actually insanely strong. It's alternating between these two. Ashes of Outland and Skull Mats. Curse Vagrant, that's a very good card for its rarity. Perfect attendance. Yeah, that's definitely not happening nowadays. <laughs> um, okay, nothing. Sad face. It's like checking chat. Scrap gold. Okay, that's actually a pretty decent card. Though everything is relative. These new cards, Battle Cry deal 30 damage. <laughs> cards are pretty crazy nowadays. Come on, something, something really good. Alan? Okay. Okay, that's how it works. It's like it depends on the class card you get. That's how you get the reward. Hydra's actually really strong, too. Scavenging Shavar is actually very good in Rio. This card used to be insanely OP. Um, arguably, it's still very good, of course. Get, like, the Demon Summon. Death Rattle. Forgive me for not having perfect uh, terminologies there. I don't think I've seen the other uh, 
Skullman's terms. It seems to just say neutral. Aside from the uh, perfect attendance. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Immediately I get proven wrong. It's pretty good. That Paladin card is actually really OP. Back in day, Blessing Kings. It was a thing in some decks, and now they have something that's literally like double that value. Sure, you can't go face, but that's only for like a turn. Overall, it's a very OP card. I'm gonna do a quick check to see if maybe we have um, 2101. Okay, so got more to open. Gotta get that 2020. <laughs> I'm hoping for better stuff. I used to like this card a lot, especially. Um, Overload Shaman. I'm not sure if that's a deck that's really played nowadays. I think it's like Totem, if anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this card. Gods, Hunter, Collector. <laughs> I already have a lot of these cards. I need the new ones. Ooh, nice. Oh, I mean, it's not bad. But it doesn't really fit to any uh, deck archetypes, especially nowadays. Fest of Tarn. Eh, at least it works in Arena, right? That's how it is for like most of these uh, cards, I think. Really, just about getting the dust so that you can craft the cards you need for a um, actually good deck. Hmm. So, what does evil stand for? Every villain is lemons. Dollar on priest collector and warrior. Thinking back a moment ago, I wonder if that was like 20 packs before we got that legendary. Come on. Oh! Commander Risa. Secrets trigger twice. Well, at the very least, it's a 3 cost 4 3. So we have uh, the stats, right? Back when Chill and Yeti was still playable. Redemption propping twice. Darkest Hour. Is that one good? Destroy all friendly minions for each one, summon a random minion from your deck. I guess it could work. Maybe Galakron Warlock? But in general, it's like, I'm pretty sure you don't run like big minions. Oh, for six mana, I don't think it's really worth it.
daring escape. <laughs> okay. We're getting vanilla cards. Fire. Oh my god, I actually got trolled really hard one time with that card. It was a Malagos Hunter. Didn't have removal from Malagos. Um, I think it was actually an arena. So is. Ooh. Not sure how I feel about that card. Anyway. Then I have removal from Malagos, then I got like double twin fired. Like all four shots. So he had like two twin fires in his hand and it creates like an extra one. Twas a very interesting way to lose. Where are we at now? Getting close to that 2020 number, right? Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, yeah. Let's open some of the newer packs. The Scent of the Dragons. Interesting. Scent Paladin Collector. These cards actually don't seem that great. I like Mana Giant. Other ones... Ah, eh, the base of Worm's useful in uh, Arena, but of course like you don't need to collect them for Arena, obviously. So, unless we get the golden one. Meh, for the most part? Most part. Ooh, let's see here. That actually looks cool. Six, five, seven. Ah, ogre time. Not quite. Not as strong as ogre. Want attack off? Discover a card in your deck and draw all copies of it. Okay, I can see that working out. Pretty cool. <laughs> Unless you're playing like. Okay, okay. I mean, no one's gonna like build a Reno deck really if they uh, go for this, but in the uh, Mill Rogue, like with Cold Light Oracle, that is very OP. I have to thank the uh, spinning trick that I've been doing. That's what spawns such a nice card. You have to make the blue magical dust, I think. That's mana. It's meant to be mana. Or actually it's probably arcane dust, <laughs> what am I saying? Okay. Oh, 
Rock Rager. Oh, they keep making fun of the Magma Rager. A three costs five one. Now look at the power creep. They even give it a taunt. It'd be funnier if it didn't have taunt, TBH. <laughs> Just make it a cheaper Magma Rager. I think with Ice Rager where it just had one more health. It was actually playable in Arena and sometimes it get a nice payout. If they had no response, then you could just go face. Get the work out. Formation. Mage Hunter. So much value out of the newer cards. Like, what would that be? Like, 12 8? 6 cost 12 8? It's got taunt initially, too. New cards. They are really good. That makes you wonder what's even the point of Hall of Fame. We got rid of these cards that are like considered OP, man. Okay, now to like sell the new packs, let's make even more OP cards and we just keep them in play. Very nice, very nice. Oh yeah, this card. Okay, now this card's like absurd in some of these Paladin decks, especially with that uh, 4 cost 8-8 eight, eight buff. Like, so OP. You buff your minion, gain board control, then you just drop this guy. Get even, uh, get another huge minion. Okay, getting there. 11.44 p.m. Cramp session. Libran of Justice. Pretty sure we have like two copies, of course, so. Just some more dust. Font of Power. Alan Priest Collector. Come on, something good. I like dragons. Wait, the scent neutral collector. Isn't the other one? <laughs> oh man, I recrafted this guy specifically. Uh, just because it's such a good card in the uh, Galakron decks. Chopper. But otherwise, I'd be pretty happy. Nice. Ooh, metamorphosis. I am actually pretty certain I already have this card. But, you know, dust is dust, right? Oh yeah, it also got nerfed. <laughs> Why did they keep nerfing those cards, but keep like the ridiculously OP ones, like, untouched? Ridiculous, man. Now we don't have Fiery Win Axe, now it's just... 
just a basic card. Okay, okay, we're getting close to that number. May open a few packs on the EU just so we can stay until the uh, New Year's countdown. Hungry <laughs> crab. What a meme. Okay, with like the new Murloc decks though, could be a tech card, right? <laughs> could be a tech card. Whoa, what was that? Or was that like Alden Goro? I just didn't notice earlier. Okay, we'll see. Five legendaries, boom. Rock stop. Okay, yeah, that's just like the car pack opening effect. Oh, nice. See? Called it. Not quite like five legendaries, but still nice. I think the fireworks. I <laughs> really should be counting in my head. That's exactly how many uh, we've been opening. Sugar elementals. Okay, this card. I mean, there are decks that definitely work with it because, you know, Beast Archetype and all that, Summon Beast from your hand. Um, this card can be insanely strong, especially in like Arena. Ah, Laugh and Taz Dingo. New cards, so OP. Ooh, double golden rare. Okay, this card's actually really good. It's kind of like, uh, it's the Demon Hunter version of like Animal Companion, basically. And all those are like actually, like, I haven't played the expansion too much, but I'm pretty sure times I did see it get played, um... Yeah, they're just all, like, anagram names for the uh, Hunter ones. Like, instead of Leoc, it's just, like, re renamed where it's, like, uh... Colorac? Or whatever. <laughs> oh god, that's a horrible pronunciation. Twenty twenty nine, I think. Gosh, I wish it wasn't like so uh so small. S M O L. Text seems kinda of small on my screen. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that in touch. Okay, here we go. Troublemaker, like that's just such a good card. New cards OP. Okay, I feel like wasn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was different. I, I'd argue that one's better though, because you get like bananas just for yourself. Uh, it was like a 3 cost 2-2. Two, two. 
Like, I don't know, maybe you're trying to play like a mill rogue deck and give them bananas to fill up their hand. There's probably some like spell mage nonsense shenanigans that will actually make use of it. It's corrupt cards, so OP. And this guy... Uh, well, he kind of just, I just, uh, laughs at the, uh, oh shoot, the name's like eluding me, but the 10 cost, uh, 10, 10 taunt, there's no rush, and this guy over there was one mana less, new cards are just better, just be like that, okay, that's kind of bad of me. Is that a 3 or a 5? Pretty sure we only opened like 4 packs, so that's a 5. Alright, here we go. Seven new packs. this guy. Okay, this card is like really OP. It's like, let's nerf it by one mana, and it's still really OP. Especially in Arena. Well, in Constructed, it's just good. Like, part of like a deck archetype. Okay, just to make sure that the, uh... Pretty sure that was a 5. Okay, that would have been odd to make it a uh, 2021. Well, New Year, right? Should we stop here? Open one more? Make it 2020? Like, how it's supposed to be? Yeah, why not? Alright. We'll just earn like one more card pack for the new 2021 card pack opening, which will in fact cover the 2020. <laughs> just the extension of the series. Look, exactly 150 card packs here. Good old skulls. Nice. Ooh, double golden. Legendary, please? No. A little bit nice to get, like, legendary. Um, okay. We still have, like, five minutes before the new year hits. Let's see here. I want to keep it at 2020 right now. So, let's switch over um, servers real quick. Yeah. There we go. Don't really play uh, Construct too much anymore. I only uh, play for the card season card back. Okay, so um, I guess for final part we shall open some card packs until we hit the new year. Be opening newer packs though, right? Leave it at 169. Hmm. I sense legendaries. Golden Rare is fine. That's the exact same one I got like earlier. See, I told you, I could sense the legendary. Forsaken Lillian. I wonder what's the lore behind that. Like, was she like, working with Sylvanas maybe? It looked like, 
I think she was like a human, actually. Hmm. Got, got uh, book up on the lore. <laughs> Five legendaries, here we go. <laughs> That's just like the minimum one rare card. Five legendaries. Greyheart Sage. If you control stealth main draw t Okay, that's actually uh, pretty good. If you have like a stealth based deck, I suppose. Eh, for epic. Better cards available. Libra and Wisdom is nice. Let's open a new pack. Woo! Oh. Then I sensed I couldn't call the uh, five legendaries on that pack. Okay, here we go. Boom. Darn. <laughs> Trampling Rhino. After this attacks and kills minion, excess damage hits to hero. So much stronger than the uh, OG cards. It like near the uh, good baseline stats with all these extra nice effects. New cards, just so much better. Plus three attack and life steal, and it's a three cost three four with a demon archetype. It's just a common. Laughs in um the the bear guy from like old gods I think three cost uh, two two I think. Gives plus one one. Well, it requires a one health minion, so I guess that one's more or less balanced. Kind of like Hobgoblin. <laughs> oh man, pretty sure I like nearly hit legend with my Hobgoblin Druid <laughs> a long time ago. It's one fifty nine, about to be New Year. Nice. Alright, come on. Legendary before the new year. More legendaries. And most of the legendaries aren't really even played, but they're just cool to have. It's part of the collection. Alright, happy new year. At 1-1-2021. Flash Giant. Alright, so to a better year because 2020 was a hot mess of a year. And we'll continue the uh, Games Heal Children series in 2021. Um, I guess this is going to be like the end of this uh, stream session, and then we're going to continue opening the card packs a bit later. This is probably going to go on YouTube, so obligatory like, comment, and subscribe. I'd appreciate that, especially as a small streamer. Um, yeah, this year I decided to cover the last bit of the goal myself for our uh, Children's Hospital fundraiser. Because, well... Nice! Whoa! Right, so I'm giving my monologue thing. <laughs> okay. Soul Mirror is absurdly strong, but yeah. Let's try to make a positive impact in the world and, um. You know. It's for the holidays, so I was, um. Hopefully, it goes to good use for the children in need out there. Um, especially in these rough times. 
as a result of COVID-19. Anyway, um, I was going to just open until we had like one more legendary. Um, we ended up getting a nice uh, double legendary to end today's uh, stream session. I guess uh, we'll continue this next time for our uh, literal 2020, which basically became 2021 because we're hoping that's a better year for the literal uh, huge card pack opening. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. That's all for now. Oh, uh, wait. Is that like misaligned the whole time? Oh, man. Oh, well. It's all good. So, here's the better gear.